this game, world, and environment are all generated just for you. Players are vastly outnumbered in this game. This is a game designed to be entertaining and challenging. The world, its characters, and the non-player characters are all generated by your presence alone. There are other players in this game, but you will have little to no contact with any of them, although it is possible. The energy you expel in this game will be used to power the game. Most things are designed to extract that precious energy, including most non-player characters. We shall refer to these characters as NPCs. The NPCs are here for a number of reasons, some of which are obvious, and some of which are not so obvious. The NPCs are primarily here to make the game more immersive, realistic, and challenging. NPCs have the added advantage of being energy extractors for this game. Children NPCs, in particular, are huge energy extractors. Now that you know this is a game, there are rules the game and its players must follow. Players are free to do what they choose. All things are permitted for a player. However, not all things will benefit the player. Players agree to enter the game in order to win the game and will not be released until those conditions are met. The exact conditions are unknown. However, common sense seems to dictate the vast majority. Players will be confined to the limits and boundaries of the game. As players' understanding of the game increases, so too will those boundaries be pushed. This game is procedurally generated. Players will never experience superpowers or matrix-like abilities in this game that exceed the parameters of the game. For best results in this game, it is best to play your part and remain in character. Players will not retain a memory of previous attempts, although they can from within the game collectively over time. Just like the players, the game also has rules it must follow. It must abide by the user agreement established before your entry. The game will provide basic needs for players. Players never need to worry about it the world will always find its way. Players have security within their own proximity. Bypass to this can only be invited by the player's will. The players will never die a traumatic death in this game. It is not part of any agreement. Players have free will to do as they please. However, the game can use the world, environment, and its NPCs to influence and suggest. The world has been designed to continually get reactions out of you, the player. Let's talk about the world as you know it. This world is not what you think. Nothing in this world is rendered until it is within the audio, physical, or visual proximity of a player. It would be very rare for players to cross paths in this game, although it is possible. The entire world continues to progress or move forward, but it is not rendered into perception unless in proximity to a player. This world, life, or existence is very elaborate and sophisticated. It is a game for your soul. So who are you? Outside of this game, you are a drop of an ocean of energy. You are individual and connected. You are immortal, powerful, and know everything. But you're really bored. You need a challenge and something to do. And the games were created. This game that we are all in and playing now is only one of many. If you are a player in this game, you have reached high difficulty, as this game is one of the hardest. So, now what? Once you know this is a game, the game is more cooperative. The odds of you winning are now increased and you will begin to notice it's a pretty fun game. You are the director of your experience here. Understanding this is a game 
free your mind from its own burden, keeping things in perspective and playing the part, and you, the player, will never go wrong. Some other ways to put it. You are an owner of a business. There are NPCs that are upper management. There are NPCs for the staff and for the customers. Once you accept you're the boss, you can then begin to mold and grow your business to your liking. There will always be challenges, but the entire venture and experience results from you and is indeed brought to life by you. You are the director and star of a movie. There are secondary actors, background actors, supporting staff, and the stage. Accepting you're the director will allow you to better coordinate the stage and production. Remember though, there are no edit rooms in this game. In these ways, the game operates. Now that you are aware of it, you will see it for yourself in almost everything around you, especially the people. Once you see it and understand it, you can direct it in your favor. The entire world, your world, is rendered just for you. This entire experience is for your entertainment. Once you are aware this is a game, you see the world for what it is. When you understand the user agreement, you begin to free your mind from its own inhibitions. As a direct result, this game tends to be more fun and not so annoying. The NPCs are here to serve your experience and they are very entertaining. Ease into your authority. This game has been on autopilot for a long time and you need to think of it like training a dog. It needs praise and it needs feedback. What is acceptable and what is not acceptable for your experience. It has simply been left unchecked for too long. This game is relentless and crafty, finding the loopholes like a lawyer. Be persistent. Renegotiations or clarifications may be required on an ongoing basis. See the humor in it all. Be tactful with thoughts and words. Use your authority, but always play your part. 
If you are not happy with your world or stage, throw it away and start over, or make directional changes to the program or the game. Remember, the NPCs are part of this world. They can only be directed through the game by using your thoughts, words, and will. Nothing in this world happens by chance. It is all carefully designed to entertain the player. You can only change your world, or the world, by your interactions and reactions to it.